how to avoid the 10 biggest mistakes companies make with KPIs. KPIs should be the key sources of information that help you understand how well you're delivering your strategy as a business or as an individual. However, what I see in practice, when I help organizations develop KPIs and better performance management systems, is that they make lots of mistakes. The first mistake I see is that companies don't link them to, to their strategy. So what they need to do is the strategy has to be the starting point because if you, your KPIs track how well you're delivering on your strategic goals, your strategy has to be the starting point. And quite often it means reviewing your strategy, revising your strategy to make sure it is actually the right strategy that you're trying to measure. The second mistake is not involving executives in your organizations. So what we need with KPIs is we need ownership. We need executives to want this information to help them make better decisions. So what I help organizations do is I, we, we develop something called key performance questions where I work with the executive teams to say what question do you actually need to have an answer to and then we de develop KPIs that will help you answer the biggest unanswered questions the executive team has rather than just tracking everything that is easy to measure. Everything that is easy to measure is the third mistake companies make. It's so tempting because nowadays we can track everything, we can count everything. So what lots of businesses end up is they just measure everything that's easy to measure, everything that's countable. So they measure in the police, they measure how many people they've arrested, rather than measuring have they reduced crime. In call centers, we measure the call duration, rather than has the call been handled um, that in, in a way that delivers value to the organization and the customer. So sometimes this is lazy and sometimes we just don't know. So again, having those questions in place initially will hopefully get you to better indicators. The other thing lots of organizations do is they just measure too much. They measure everything. And then they have performance reports and dashboards full of indicators and KPIs and maybe little traffic lights. And this is simply causing information overload. Um, so KPIs is a real opportunity to, to distill the data that you have in your organizations down to the vital few critical bits. And this is something that lots of organizations don't get right. Which leads me to another mistake that is very often related to this, where we don't separate strategic from more operational or even external metrics. So or the KPIs should be your strategic indicators to tell you how well you're delivering, delivering on your strategy. Organizations have millions sometimes of detailed operational indicators. And again, what you don't want to do is you don't want to simply add them into your performance reports and dashboards. You want to separate them out. In the same way, you want to sometimes separate, separate out some of the indicators that you're only collecting for external organizations. So companies have stakeholders, they have regulators who often require them to measure certain aspects of their performance. Again, those don't, shouldn't automatically become a KPI in your organization because sometimes they're measured for completely different purposes to compare organizations across the country, across the industry, but they might not be a priority for your organization at this point in time. So there's something you need to report, maybe keep an eye on, but they shouldn't end up as your, in, within your set of key performance indicators. So KPIs should be information sources that help people make better decisions. So another mistake I see is when organizations then turn them into targets and link them to incentive systems. And this very often then drives the wrong behaviors where people aim their performance towards delivering a target rather than delivering really good performance. So going back to the call center example, if I'm measuring call duration, I can finish my call within two hours, uh, two minutes, hopefully not two hours, two minutes, but have I really delivered value? If this is not being measured, I can just focus on my call duration and ignore whether this call is of any value or not. Number eight is not analyzing your data. 
again, what I see is performance teams and organizations who are overwhelmed with collecting so much information that we are all tempted to simply just report the raw data without analyzing it. And there's one of my favorite quote is that I didn't have enough time to write a short letter, so I wrote a long one. And this is how it feels like in lots of organizations where they simply just dump all the performance information onto dashboards, into performance reports, without really adding value in terms of analyzing it, making connections between your different data sets. So you can actually understand insights, take out, extract insights, so not analyzing data is a key mistake. The ninth mistake you need to avoid is not challenging and constantly updating your KPIs. Sometimes organizations feel, okay, now we have an indicator in place, we now need to measure this for the next 10 years so we can nicely track progress. What is much more important is that you measure the right things that really help you to make the right decisions at this point in time. So if your goals shift, your indicators need to shift. If your indicators don't tell you what you need to know, you need to find new indicators. So what we need to do in organizations is we need to instill, instill this culture where we constantly challenge, are these the right indicators? Are they giving me the right information? Are they still aligned with my goals and my questions? And if not, we need to change them and revise them and find better indicators. The final 10th mistake organizations make when they use and develop KPIs is that they end up not acting on those indicators and the information that comes from them. And this is, this, this will basically destroy the whole performance management approach in your organizations. If you have data telling you that your customer satisfaction is off track and people don't do anything with this information, if they're if the KPIs are predicting a dip in, in revenue and we're not addressing this and we're making decisions based on gut feel instead of the data that's telling us, then people will simply stop using indicators. They will stop bothering about uh, in, in terms of collecting the data, analyzing it and so on. So those are my 10 mistakes. Hopefully you can avoid those. If you want to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find lots of articles. Um, I have templates of how to design good indicators. I have a KPI library that gives you access to hundreds of really good indicators that hopefully make a starting point. But I also have articles on how to develop a good performance framework and how to make it all work in your organization.